What's up, everyone? Welcome to the Being Beautifully Honest channel and podcast. If you haven't subscribed yet, please go ahead and hit that subscribe button and hit the notification bell so you know whenever a new episode is uploaded. Now, I'm going to be sharing some stories, things that I find interesting. And to be honest with you, I have talked about some celebrity news stories, which to, for me, it's like, unless it's something deeper to the story, I just find it a little bit boring and I get it. Everybody is not into everything. Celebrity news and gossip is one of the things that a lot of people have interest in because it's just like it goes viral or everybody has access to it because a lot of people are talking about it. But sometimes I just don't find any interest or passion in it so I just can't push myself to even talk about it. And because this podcast for me is a hobby, I just haven't been able to really push myself to even talk about it, but I'm going to share a story that I really found interesting and I really want to get your thoughts on it. And I think it also has a lot to do with the shortages that we're seeing with inflation rising and, and shortages on the store shelves and not having access to many things. We hear about a lot of things with regards to the truck drivers, right? Because we know the truck drivers are really the lifeline in between the cargo that is on the ships and those things being loaded into these 18 wheeler vehicles and these truck drivers having to drive sometimes cross country to get things to their destinations. So this news story actually comes from Business Insider and I found it extremely fascinating yet shocking and I, am just like at a loss for words because I don't know any truck drivers personally. So this isn't knowledge that I had access to. And I've heard so many different stories over the years about truck drivers and how some people have these 18 wheelers that are really decked out. And some of the 18 wheelers may even have a small bed for them to sleep in and a place for them to use the bathroom. But that's not the case for a lot of people apparently based on this story. So it talks about the issues that a lot of these truck drivers have, just being able to use the bathroom, something as simple as using the bathroom. And I know for myself, when I had, I had business locations that were not close to where I reside and I was having to travel out of state to go to these places and, and out of the city to go to these places, I was not ever looking forward to getting on the interstate because of the truck drivers. Sometimes truck drivers were swerving on the roads and it just was really, really dangerous. So I would find myself, if I was next to an 18 wheeler, if I was able to, I would speed up to get away from them because I never wanted to be right next to an 18 wheeler preferably not even behind them if possible because of the rocks kicking up and all of those different types of things, but yeah. So this story again comes from Business Insider and it talks about the issues that a lot of these truck drivers are having and have had. So it says shippers and receivers often don't allow truck drivers to use their warehouse bathrooms. The lack of facilities is particularly tough for female drivers who make up 10% of the truckers. Women truckers told Insider they're forced to use buckets filled with kitty litter to be able to relieve themselves or bring their own porta potties. Female truck drivers are often forced to take creative and some say degrading measures to relieve themselves on the road as shippers and receivers often bar truckers access to warehouse restrooms. Eight truckers told Insider they often face difficulty finding bathrooms on the road, whether at warehouses, shipping yards, ports, or along the highway. Some of them say facilities provide outdoor porta potties as an alternative, but they're not always well kept or ideal for extreme temperatures. And let's face it, those porta potties, those outdoor places to use a restroom, those things are really disgusting. They don't have people that are cleaning up after these things on a regular basis in between people making a pit stop. We know that. 
So the, the thing of it is that that can be extremely degrading as well. Why can't these people just go into the place and use the freaking bathroom? That's crazy. So the story continues, multiple male truckers told Insider it's not uncommon for them to relieve themselves in bottles or buckets in their trucks. But for the female drivers, the lack of bathroom access can pose a more significant inconvenience, six women said in interviews with Insider. Carmen Anderson, who has been driving long haul solo since the 1980s, said she limits her liquid intake throughout the day to avoid getting stuck without a restroom. She previously carried a porta potty in the truck with her, but no longer has enough room. Now, Anderson said she urinates in a cup or a bucket filled with kitty litter. Oh my God. The visual is crazy right now. She says, it's really sad that we have to do that. It's like they're treating us like second class citizens. Well, yeah, that's exactly what they're doing. And then, how awful to be someone who has been long haul solo driving trucks since the 80s. I don't even know how old she is. The story doesn't say how old she is. So I'm assuming she is older. And the fact that she said she limits her liquid intake throughout the day to avoid getting stuck without a restroom. Even with that, when you're not drinking as much as you need, you're dehydrating yourself. So it's not healthy. You're definitely not healthy. And when you're having to hold your bladder so that you don't have an accident, that is causing damage to your bladder as well because you are doing some damage to that muscle and to your bladder and, and having to hold yourself. I can't imagine what that would be like. So when she said that it's like they're treating us like second class citizens, they absolutely are. 26 year trucker Sally Finan said many drivers started buying in cab commodes when the pandemic started because social distancing measures often meant they weren't allowed to exit their vehicle. Now that's crazy. We may have been treated like animals, but we didn't want to act like them. She said, I throw the remains in dumpsters and use hand sanitizer after it's the best I can do. Carla Holmes, who started team trucking with her husband last year, said the lack of restroom access is particularly frustrating during her menstrual cycle. She said she frequently changes her tampon in the two by three foot space between the driver's seat and sleeper cab. That whole situation is just embarrassing and it sucks, she told Insider. Men don't have to go through that. The trucking industry anticipates a shortage of 100,000 drivers by 2023, which is around the corner. And many recruiters are hoping women will fill the empty seats. Women drivers account for approximately 10% of the trucking workforce, according to a 2019 survey. Ellen Voix, founder of the nonprofit Women in Trucking, told Insider that she doesn't believe the lack of bathrooms is impacting the recruitment of women drivers, but it contributes to an overall feeling of disrespect that affects the retention. It's about respecting the driver and allowing them to use your facilities because it's a basic human need, she said. At a recent industry conference, Vua said she asked warehouse managers why they don't allow drivers to use their restrooms. Their answer, quote, they don't want the drivers in and out. They don't want to provide accommodations for drivers because they don't want them to be there very long. And so basically they want them to be in and out. They don't want them sticking around. Drivers typically wait at least two hours at shipping and receiving centers. The lack of bathrooms on the road is also an infrastructure and hygiene issue. Multiple truckers told Insider they've spent days on the road without access to a shower and waited in lines as long as six hours for a shower stall to open up at a truck stop. Veteran trucker Trish Bennett said some truck stop facilities have significantly cut back their hours in response to the national labor shortage. Sometimes it's a choice between taking a shower, staying on the road, or getting sleep. Bennett said. There are currently no laws requiring that warehouses provide truckers bathrooms. However, a Washington state legislator introduced a bill in early January that would make it mandatory for retail establishments to provide restrooms for their drivers. 
Now this is all crazy to me. It definitely sounds inhumane. What, what basic human that is working a job, especially one like this, can't access a decent restroom when they are going to these places that they're delivering the items to that these places need. It's crazy. And for the women even more so because we know, you know, I'm not saying that men are not human beings, but I mean, we know they can go in the bushes and it's not a big deal. No, no hum, decent human really wants to do that if they don't have to, of course. But for women, we use the restroom in a whole different way. You know what I mean? And then for those who are not on menopause, we have issues every month that we have to take care of and some longer times of um, the month than others, not very comfortable. It's just not adequate. It is very unappealing for someone to try to recruit more women into this field when this is the type of stuff that they have to deal with. I mean, the men are dealing with it too, but if they're saying that they anticipate a shortage of 100,000 drivers by next year, I don't really see how they're gonna fill this. There's. <laughs> And I know I heard a story where the trucking industry and also the United States government and, and President Biden had made an announcement how they're going to be trying to recruit teenagers to drive 18 wheelers and long haul trucking. I think that is a recipe for disaster. I mean, I don't know about you guys, but I never look forward to being on the road and being near an 18 wheeler driver. I have literally seen with my own eyes, people who are behind the wheel of an 18 wheeler that are using their phone while they're driving, because I've glanced up and looked and I've seen it. So can you imagine a teenager, an 18 year old between 18 and 22 to even 25 year old? Because let's be honest, a lot of people in their early 20s these days are not very mature, period. Behind the wheel of an 18 wheel truck that no, that weighs God knows how many tons, not pounds, tons. A regular car weighs about 2000 pounds. I mean, it's just crazy, but to hear the stories about how they can't even use a decent restroom and they're denied the opportunity to use bathrooms when they're going to these places that they're delivering these items to, it's, it's absolutely crazy. But I wanted to talk about it and get your thoughts. So you guys let me know your thoughts about all of this in the comment section. Thank you so much for liking, commenting, and subscribing. And until the next time, I'm just being beautifully honest.